hey all of you hope you guys are great so in this video we going to build this search page okay and in this you will find that we are using a lot of reusable component okay so this is the page we are going to design in this complete video so we have this search bar and we have this filter and we have this cards icon okay so everything is working fine now let's come back to the code editor and make sure you open up the project which you are working on and you know the real what we have to do so first thing we have to do is to create the page we'll call it search page.js okay and we have to create the css file for that so let's create that search page dot modules dot css so here we have the search css file and we'll come here and we'll type simply rafc to create the react functional base component and now we have to import the css file and that's coming from the same directory okay nothing new we are following the old pattern okay so here we have the css file now let's come here and let's close all these files and we have to create one more file in the main directory okay so this is the pattern we are following so we'll call it let's say um, search component no let's call it search page okay inside this folder we're going to create the search bar folder okay so let's create one more folder search bar and simply copy that and we have to create the JSS file search bar dot JSX and we have to create the CSS file for this module dot CSS okay so this is the component we have type RFC okay and here we go to create uh, let's click come here let's on the main main search bar folder we have to create the index okay so we'll say search page index okay and this we're going to import the component so let's come here and simply simply do one thing close all this open tab and let's bring this and type this internal import and import the style file okay and that's coming from the same directory let's come here and go to the search bar index in which we have to import the component okay so we have to import the search bar and now we have to export that search bar and that way we can easily able to receive in the search page and here we're going to receive all those components okay so everything's working fine so here we are on the search page and here we go to do a couple of imports so first thing we have to import the slider and that's coming from the component main component and slash component index okay so you simply remove this one and that's coming from the component index so here we have the slider and we want to get the brand as well brand and let's import the search bar and that's coming from the search page slash search bar index okay so that's the component we are getting from this export okay so here we have that component let's come down we have to import uh, let's say filter and that's coming from the component index okay so this is the filter component we are using here so that's also working fine let's simply come down we have to come here and go to this collection page and in that collection page we have this nft card too okay so this is the component we're going to use here as well okay so let's import that as well so nft card 2 and that's coming remove that simply and simply bring it from author slash page not author we have to say collection dot collection slash current collection index so we have this and simply wrap this inside a bucket so will not get an error and we need a banner as well so this is the imports we have here now we can start working on the JSS so simply remove that and we'll take a dynamic block we'll have a div it will have a say style we'll call it something like search page and inside that we'll have a another div and inside that we'll have this sidebar component and here we're going to import all the components so we'll have the banner we'll have the let's say slider we'll have the brand and we need one more component which is a filter so we're going to import the filter here and we have this nft card too so this is the card which we have to so simply start the application and let's have a look how things are looking so let's click on this and open in the browser so let's come here and inside this discovery okay and here we have to do the changes in the menu so here we have that search we'll type search page okay so this is the change we have to do now simply click on this and open the application 
let's close all the other tabs and just wait and here you can see everything is working fine click on this search and here we are on the page but we are getting this error okay we have invalid expect a string okay so let's bring this down and let's see what's happened here okay we are getting this error once again so reload the browser and let's come here and simply comment this all and reload the application still we are getting that so reload everything okay so things are looking fine now let's uncomment reload the browser it's working fine the image is broken we have to send the image in that as a prop so we'll take the image which we have inside this image folder okay and from there we're going to pass that in here so banner image image and we'll pass the image to number okay so let's reload the browser and here we have the image okay it's working fine image is working fine now let's uncomment this and so we have problem in the filter okay we have the problem in filter so let's come here and this is the problem we have we have to wrap this filter in this bracket okay because we are exporting for the component index we are not individually importing it okay so we have to wrap that and now if we come and reload the browser and here you can see the filter we have here everything is working fine okay now simply comment uncomment this and reload the browser and here you can see we have the slider it's also working fine titles and let's remove this and let's come here this is the brand section so everything's working fine everything's working fine now we have to bring this slider up and you can see here we have the slider but the slider is not displaying okay because we have to work on that so let's simply copy that component card and we have to pass it right below the filter and in that we have to send the props the data so we'll take a const and we'll call it let's say collection array and in that we're going to pass the images okay so we'll pass the nft1 nft2 nft3 and we're going to simply replicate this three times and remove the last one okay altogether we want to have eight okay so things are looking good okay simply remove the last one so things are looking in and that's the data we're going to pass inside this so we'll type this nft data and in that we're going to send this prop so things are looking good now let's come here and it says that map is not defined okay that's the problem we have so let's come here reload the browser and you can see everything's working fine sometime you will have this problem so if you get this problem make sure you restart the application or reload the browser okay that will solve the problem so here you can see we have the data all the data is displaying perfectly and everything is working fine filter and this is the component we want to build okay so let's come down and now we can start working on the slider okay so let's close all these tabs and let's come here and go to the where we have inside the slider here we have the slider now we can start so simply take a class and we'll call it style dot sidebar and that we're going to have another div it will have a style we'll call slide bar dash box inside that we're going to have a let's type hey sidebar to see things are working okay it's working now what we can do simply come here we have to import a couple of things from react so we do need to import the search icon and we need to import the let's say arrow icon okay and this will call arrow right okay so these are the two things we need to import simply remove the demo text and we in this we're going to take this icon first icon search icon and we'll have a class so we'll take the class we'll call it style dot search box and it will call icon okay we have to close this one properly so we got in an error so simply remove this here and in here we're going to take the input and it will say type is going to be text and we have to assign the placeholder so the placeholder i would call it type your keyword okay so this is the text we want to pass and here we're going to take the second icon which is the arrow okay and it will have the class will say let's say search box icon okay it's the same class we're going to assign so that's the only gsx part we need and as you can see it's displaying perfectly now what we can do we can come back to the CSS file and now let's get styling this okay so we have to copy this and let's come back here target that and we'll say width is going to be 100% and so let me make this side by side so you guys can see what we are working on and 
we'll tag the box and we'll say width is going to be 40 percent and margin zero auto background color is going to be our main color color is going to be our main color and display is going to be flex border radius 5 percent 5 ram and align item center margin top is going to be 2.7 ram and margin bottom is going to be 3 ram box shadow is going to be our custom box shadow color so that's looking perfect you can see it's looking beautiful let's come down we'll target the box icon and we'll say font size is going to be 3 ram padding is going to be 0.5 ram and 0.8 ram cursor pointer and we'll have this color is going to be our icon color so things are looking pretty good we'll come down we're going to target that box input and we'll say width is going to be 85 percent and border is going to be zero outline is going to be zero and it will have the padding to 2 ram and background color is going to be our main color so that's how it will look let's come down we're going to target that box input and placeholder the color is going to be our icon color and font size is going to be let's say 1.2 ram so that looks pretty good okay it's working fine now let's hear i write the media query so will it gonna be a max width 35 em and we'll target the box width is going to be 90 percent on a mobile device so that looks perfect and we'll say margin top is going to be 2 ram and margin bottom is going to be 1 ram so that looks perfect you can see it's looking perfect both on the mobile device and a desktop and things are looking really good so it's perfect so it's working fine let's come here and go up here and here we need to do the changes let's type 4 let's make it 14 okay and let's make it 8 so this looks perfect okay we have nice space from top so that's looking perfect let's scroll down and let's have a look this is also working fine so the slider is also looking great this is the component we have okay so everything is working fine let's check the responsiveness so that's how it will look on a tablet things are looking good make a break mobile friend i'm having this problem so okay let's come here and let's do the inspect element so still i'm having this problem in chrome browser but if i copy this and if i open the my other browser simply paste here and just wait and and here you can see it's looking perfect on mobile device so it's looking absolutely perfect perfectly align everything okay you can simply check this is the search bar these are the tabs buttons and this is the open tabs this is the cards all you can able to see here you can expand and you can check the media query okay you can check the media query so looking fine on this this okay this one is also good we need to add the second breakpoint i guess okay but this looks perfect okay this looks perfect so let's come back to the code and make it on big screen and simply close this one and close this one and now let's upload this code to get up okay so it's looking absolutely fine okay simply delete this one and you know that what we have to do okay so simply let me quickly upload these files okay so let's check everything everything's working fine so here we have everything open up the terminal stop the application type get in it and get add dot and open get up and go to get up and simply create a new repository and we'll call it nft marketplace search page okay hit enter and we have to initialize this command so let's come back here and simply hit this command copy paste copy paste and copy paste just wait it's uploading sometime it will take a lot of time and sometime it's happened fast it depends on the your internet speed so just wait and here the uploading process is completed now let's come back here and reload the browser and here you can see inside that we have this component so everything is working fine in the next video this is the component we're going to build nft detail page okay so you can see this is the component we're going to build this is the page actually we're going to build so that's the functionality we're going to include it's looking beautiful okay we can open we can close we'll have this data 
so this is what we're going to build in the next video so hope you have found this video valuable and if you have any questions any doubt any suggestion do leave in the comment section i would love to have them and i'll try to include in this project and if you haven't subscribed to my channel do so that will motivate me a lot to come up with this project okay with that said now let's move to the next video and that we're going to build that amazing nft detail page so see you there have a wonderful day